What's going on, family? Those who are uh, seeking validation and want everybody to speak to you hand back. These are people who are lonely within themselves. Let me tell you something. They can have money. They can have a wife. They can have a husband. They can have the world. They can have a big family, a big home, nice car, money in the bank. They can have all that, even fake praises, fans, which are fake. They can have all that, but still be unhappy. These people, let me tell you something. If they don't have God Almighty in their life, they are not going to be complete. See, in order for you to be happy, even without any of those things I just mentioned, if if you don't have none of that, no nice home, no family, no wife, no husband, no kids, no fake fans, groupies, and none of that. But if you got God Almighty, if you got God Almighty, you are complete. Now, people, I'm not just saying... Yeah, I got God in my life, regular talk. No, I'm talking about knowing God Almighty and knowing your purpose for living. Hallelujah. Huh? A lot of people don't know why they're living. Huh? See? A lot of people ask them, what, 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 what is man's purpose on, on earth? Ask a person when you see them one by one. What's your purpose of living? They gonna tell you something like, oh, I'm just here to take care of my family. I'm just here to be a rapper. I'm here to be a doctor. I'm here to be a lawyer, huh? No, that's your job. That's your career. That's your hobby. Those are things that you're good with craft like or whatever. That's just something you're good at doing. But what is your purpose for living? Huh? No one knows. Unless they are called by God and has been revealed the secret of why you are here. Huh? And since most people don't know why they're here, most people don't know the purpose of them living. <laughs> they, they assume that they're living for this. They're living for that. So it's easy to be fake and pretend that this is how you should be. You see what I'm saying? It's deep. So what happens is when you don't have God in your life, you live for the world and you are easily manipulated by Satan to live a certain type of way for society. When you don't know yourself, you want the society to figure you out for you. You want everybody to, to validate who you want them to see you for. You want people to to say oh this person right here is this and that you be like oh i oh okay because you don't even know who you are you don't know what you stand for and look family these be the same type of people talking about something you don't know me you better go ahead on you don't even know me you don't know nothing about me you don't even know yourself you don't know nothing about yourself don't be the main one talking about the saturday night like they standing on something they know the words to you but they don't know themselves. I see people pleasers every day and it's a shame. It's like, wow, you that unhappy? You that blank to know what to, to, to know what you you don't know what you stand for? And look, check it out. This is why when they come around real people like me and you, they get mad because they don't understand where we get this strength from. And then when you tell them all day, it's Jesus, it's Jesus, it's Jesus. Oh, I ain't, I ain't. I ain't. Whatever, whatever. I ain't, I ain't trying to do Jesus. Well, there you go. Huh? There you go. <laughs> when you reject Jesus, Jesus reject you. And when you're rejected by Jesus, you are out here like a dead walking corpse, confused, lost, stuck. You are a lost soul. Seeking people to like you for who you want them to like you for. And here's the thing about people pleasing. I can't stand them. I can't. Everybody, you know, live according to the way they feel comfortable, right? Somebody left a comment on Nazarite Lifestyle. 
they were saying that they still greet uh uh bye farewell i mean well hello and farewell and then they just put their wall back up see the, hey if kudos to you because i'm not going up and down with my wall no i'm not doing that i i replied and told them look this this is what i do once you show me what type of person you about and you a person of the score my father told me not to have no dealings with such people once i put my wall up to you you get no farewells and you get no grand hellos period you don't deserve my blessings you don't deserve my grand hellos good mornings you don't deserve my grand farewells goodbyes let me tell y'all something. When you hello a good morning to someone, you are happy to be in their presence. That's all that's saying. You are happy to see them. You are glad to be in their presence. Happy day. Good good day. You know, hope things go well for you. I'm not telling y'all not to be this way, but I that's I you you don't deserve that you when you burn bridges with me. You have to you have to learn on your own how to respect all over again. See, when I keep giving you these blessings, you're not going to learn. You're going to keep taking advantage of me. And that's what's been happening. I still speak to people. I still feel well. I'm telling you, I will still do that just so they can still walk over me. Just so they can still treat me with contempt. Because these are people pleasers and I'm not here to please you. I speak, but if you're going to keep treating me like crap because I'm not hot, hot, he here when it ain't funny. And I'm in, I'm not in the cut with the crew with the with the clicks gossiping, and then you want to show me contempt because I'm not being fake. Then we got a problem. And then I'm not gonna speak to you at all because when I don't speak and when I don't fare well, it is what it is. Everything is shut shut off, so you can't expect nothing else from that. Once I once I don't do you can't you can't expect me to continue on with the conversation throughout the day when I didn't even speak to you. And you can't expect me to say bye-bye when I said nothing to you all day. I'm not phony. I can't do that. But other people could do that. Other people could say hi and bye and put their wall up. Well, what's the point of putting the wall up if you feel that you can still speak to these people? Now, like I said, some people you could be like, okay, cool then. I may not have my wall up with certain people, but even with certain people, if I just say hi or bad, it be that. That's cool. I just don't care for dealing with you because you 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 shenanigan too. But I, I I'm not blocking you completely. It's kind of deep to explain it. But once I put my wall up with an individual, that's it. Go on somewhere else. Go on head on. I send them to you then. Those who up and down with their walls. I send these people to y'all. I'm I'm done. <laughs> No, nah, man. I don't people please. I'm I'm 46 years old. I've been through all that stuff all in grammar school and high school. You know what I'm saying? I, I stood on my own ever since then. I'm talking about with the people, please. I don't, I, I, I feel funny. I feel funny if I was a, to ha ha he he with a bunch of fake coons. You know what I'm saying? I feel funny if 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 a, if a stern CEO walk in and everybody know he or she don't play that, and then they come in and look, and then they say something stupid, and everybody ha 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 ha. I'm gonna be that one like what? I'm just going to ignore it and check it out. That CEO going to notice you. And guess what? They're going to have a problem with you because you didn't ha ha he he right along with the fake crew. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of people are looking for people please because they don't know who they are. But they want to put on this persona. When I walk in, you better bat down. When I walk in, you better speak. Somebody spoke to me today. I didn't speak. They walk, I walk by them again. They spoke again as if I didn't hear them the first time. And I still didn't say nothing. But the person went on and kept the cordial with, with uh, the work ethics, which was cool. See, here's the thing. You can't be letting people know that you're that thirsty for validation. We are grown. We are not kids. If you speak to me and you know that I might have heard you, let it go if I don't speak back. It's okay today. You you will live. Huh? When you make it extra, when you go extra miles to to let that person know, hello, I spoke to you, ha, boom, right then and there, use a dodo. Use a lonely dodo. 
Yep. You are a lonely dodo. People just don't know how thirsty and stupid they look when they keep trying to speak to somebody after they didn't speak back. That's stupid. If I speak to you, then what? We don't even like each other. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't hate these people. It's just that I'd rather not have no dealings with them. I just say that, but they don't like me. They don't like me because I don't play games with them. I don't people please. And people pleasers hate those who don't pl pe please them. <laughs> Y'all know where I'm going, man. Like I said, if I got enemies, they mad because they can't, they can't control my life. I see a lot of that at my other job. This one big bully bullying everybody and everybody bat down to them. Everybody bat down to them and that person gets pissed every time they see me. They get pissed. But if you pull this person to the side and they and you paid them, you paid them a thousand dollars and said I'm gonna give you a thousand dollars to keep it one hundred. What did KK ever do to you to be so pissed at her? And tell the truth. Don't lie. You ain't getting this down unless you tell the truth. That person would tell you she ain't did nothing. Now this is without lies. Huh? This is without lies. I ain't did nothing. But they can't stand me. It's because they can't control me. What do I look like allowing anybody to control me, first of all? And especially if they're younger than me. You must be out your man. Huh? You must be out your man. All the things that I've been through in life. And I'm going to come to this point in life to let some 20 or 30 some year old control me. You bully. I don't think so. So, hey, if that's the burden that this person chose to have all their life and they flam monkeys who see me and hear me and go back and tell the 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 north what I did or what I said, and she this and then she that. And I see them. They all goofies. These are people who can't stand on, on their own. Why? Because they are cowards. And look, they talk smack up the creek. They only talk smack when they around the North as if they supposed to have their back. The North is sitting back laughing and looking like, yeah, I got them. I got them. They out here expressing themselves on, on my behalf. Y'all some goofies. You never, never lower your standards for anybody because all they doing is controlling you. You a little big punk coward. That's all you are. And all I see and look back at you and me and say, dang, man, this person is standing strong. They ain't kidnapped. They not uh, um, manipulated. They not muppet. Every time we see or hear something from them, we got to go and report it to the North. Like that's our mama. Huh? You're kidnapped. You dodos. You are kidnapped when you become a flying monkey. I don't want to get treated like KK from the North. Uh-uh. No, I don't want to get treated. Well, hey. Look, first of all, I'm not walking around with no burdens. Huh? I don't care what it look like from the north and from y'all. Y'all the ones with the burdens. I don't have any burdens. Huh? I don't have any burdens. And check it out. By the end of the day, y'all don't never step my boundaries, though. Y'all don't, y'all, y'all may talk smack and do what you do behind closed doors, behind my back, and may get a little snippy out the side of the neck or whatever in an indirect way, which is cowardly. Huh? But you're not gonna say it in my face and you're not gonna cross boundaries. So that's respect right there. I gig I give you that. That's respect. <laughs> hey y'all, let me tell y'all something. Look, stand strong. Jesus went through all this. You know what I'm saying? Stand strong in the heck with all of them. The narc, the flam monkeys, all of, all of them are people pleasers. Bullies and people pleasers. And they're gonna see their day, man. The day of the Lord is coming and they're gonna be part of his wrath. Shalom.